Hey, everybody. I'm looking forward to bringing you this great interview with Jeremy B., who is now a mobile notary signing agent. He's going to talk about how he did it, what steps he took, and how long it took. And today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, the Fare for Uber Car Program. If you're tired of driving the car you're in right now and you want to try something new and different, check out the Fare for Uber Car Program. I used to drive a 2013 Toyota Prius. It was a little blue car. Then I started to use the Fare Program, and I got a really clean and spacious Hyundai Elantra with a great stereo system for $195 per week plus taxes. I used to play Led Zeppelin loud. It was awesome. That includes everything, rideshare insurance and unlimited miles. And since Fair partners with Uber, you can also earn a very strong bonus for a relatively low number of trips. Basically covers the cost of your car. This program is available in California for now, but there are other programs all across the country. So check the Fair website for prices in your market. Some drivers are getting their first week for free, so check it out. Download the Fair app and get a car today. It is a great program. Be sure to use our code, which is RSG100, so we get credit for sending you there. That's RSG100. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey everybody, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime. All you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of the gig economy, welcome. I am Jay Crater and this is my podcast. Welcome to the show. Let's enter the dojo. All right, I got a good one for you today. Jeremy B. Jeremy B. was uh, my guest on my second podcast episode. He's the young man who came from Florida all the way to San Francisco to drive for Uber then I mentioned uh, that I was spoke with a guy named Nathan Dalton, who was in one of my earlier episodes, who decided uh, to become a mobile notary signing agent. And Nathan was uh, making some pretty good money. So uh, Jeremy decided he was going to become a mobile notary signing agent. And that is the topic we're going to cover today. Now, Jeremy has done nearly 100 signings. And uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about what made him decide he wanted to become a mobile notary signing agent. What was the most difficult part of becoming one? Um, what were the steps involved in doing it? How long did it take? Um, what's the biggest challenge? Um, and where does he see himself uh, in, in a year from now? What kind of money will he be making? And at the end, I even ask him about his special forces experience, which is uh, pretty cool. So uh, let's jump right in. Jeremy's a remarkable young man, and uh, it's always fun to talk to him. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, here's my interview with Jeremy. All right, Dojo Nation, we have a special treat. Jeremy B. is back. <laughs> he is back on the podcast. So if you listen to my second podcast, I think we're up to number like 40. Uh, but the second one, I, I met with Jeremy uh, at a Safeway parking lot, and we drove around in my car, and we did a podcast for my car. Jeremy is the young fellow who came all the way from Florida to San Francisco to drive for Uber. And uh, I told you all about Jeremy and his story and how he was uh, making 2000 to, 2, to 2500 a week and he was pocketing, I think, I think 5000 a month with the uh, goal of, of earning $60,000 uh, on top of everything else uh, for in one year driving in San Francisco. Well, Jeremy is back and today we're going to talk about something else. Jeremy has uh, become a mobile notary signing agent. Uh, he listened to uh, another podcast uh, that we did with Nathan, Nathan Dalton, which was a very popular episode. A lot of people have been asking me for contact information for Nathan Dalton, who is a six-figure mobile notary signing agent. Jeremy took heed and uh, underwent the process to become a mobile notary signing agent, and he's approaching 100 signings 
as we speak. So welcome back to the dojo, Mr. Jeremy B. Dang it. Thank you so much, Jay. It's good to be back. <laughs> Episode 40-ish already, huh? Moving along. Wow. Yep. Yep. Knocking them out. Knocking them out. So, uh, so Jeremy, so let me ask you some questions here. What made you decide to uh, become a mobile or to at least pursue uh, becoming a mobile notary signing agent? Yeah. So as fate would have it, if you remember way back when I first reached out to you, I I'd watched all your videos on YouTube through the Rideshare channel. And I contacted you and said, hey, I'd like to get some one-on-one -on -one real time information for Rideshare. And on that phone call, when we were talking about it, you said, and by the way, you said, uh, I just spoke to a guy named Nathan who's doing this mobile notary gig and he just made $900 on Monday doing the mobile notary theme. And so that might be something you're interested in getting involved with. So when I got off the phone with you, I went ahead and booked my seat to take the dang notary test in California the following month. All right. So, so I came out here and my initial intention was to come out to California, to come out to San Francisco to drive rideshare. And that's what I was doing at first. And I immediately, though, I immediately started the process to get involved with the mobile notary theme. And uh, I'm really glad that I did. Yeah, it's it's pretty dang good. And so it, it was really interesting how how timing came into effect there, because had I spoken to you on the phone and did that phone consult one week earlier, well, you never would have told me about the mobile notary thing. Um, I mean, I, I would have listened. I would have caught the information off of your uh, podcast after I came out here, but I wouldn't have gotten such an early jump on it. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of how it all played out. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people are like uh, asking, you know, wh what does it take to become a, a mobile notary signing agent? And um, I actually also went, went through the whole process. Um, I'm just at this point choosing not to pursue it any further. But um, let me let me just go over the steps and 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 jump in if I if I've missed anything. But you sign up to take a course right through the uh, national what is it National Notary Association. You got to right. take a course. It's like a six hour course. You can either do it online or you can do it in person. Then you got to go and take a test, and you got to get I think seventy percent on the test or better. And then you got to do your fingerprint scan. You got to get your picture taken. Then you wait, you get some documents in the mail. Then you got to go register that with the county clerk. And basically at that point, you can, you can be a, 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 a signing uh, agent. You can be a, a, a notary public. And then if you want to become a signing agent, you have to take another course, pass another test, do another background check. And, and then you can officially go out and be a mobile notary signing agent. But on top of that, it's highly recommended that you take a, a second course, which really teaches you the down and dirty, how you do it and how you can build, build your business. And once all that's done, then you sign up with SnapDocs, which is like a, an Uber or a Lyft for mobile notary signing agents. And you get pings, and then you follow those pings, and, and you go do your signings. Now, is there anything in there that I missed that, that you think is, is worth bringing up? No, I'm pretty sure you hit on all of the steps there. Um, a little bit that I can add to that, though, yeah, yeah. is just from my personal experience, from the day that you take that test, it's a state test, whatever state you reside in, you take a state test standardized to become a notary. And from the day that you take that test, it's three months until you're actually hopping and popping, ready to go, certified, you're on snap docs and you're able to ready, you're, you're able to start accepting orders. So um, that was the only thing that kind of caught me off guard because for some reason, whatever I had read online, I thought it was 
four weeks. Mm-hmm. But no, no. Otherwise, the steps you said, it's really that simple. The only roadblocks that would potentially be in anybody's way is a uh, criminal history, any type of a felony, or even some misdemeanor. Some misdemeanors out there will, I think, put the brakes on the state allowing you to be a notary. But otherwise, it's exactly as you just spelled it out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, for, for you, what was the most challenging part uh, of becoming a, a mobile notary signing agent? Was it, was it just that it took three months or was there any particular part of that process that kind of hooked you up? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't know that, that there was anything that was, that was super difficult. I, I think one thing that would be potentially difficult for some people is you have to, I think you have to either one, have some knowledge of the industry or number two, you need to know somebody who can kind of help guide you through. So for example, Nathan really helped me out with answering the questions when I first got started. Because like you said, you initially get certified to be a notary, but then to be a signing agent, which let's clarify, a signing agent is somebody who goes over loan paperwork with people who are purchasing property, selling property, or refinancing. Right. And so you show up to somebody's house with this handful of a hundred different papers, Mm -hmm. and you need to guide them through give them a general description of each document and guide them through signing and dating everything properly. And so when you first get started, that process can be rather daunting if you have no knowledge of the industry and if you don't know anybody who you can ask questions to. But um, luckily I did have that. I was able to to go to Nathan and he's been really great at helping me get started. And I, I know he has been for other people as well. He's a, you know, super, super, super great guy and super great, especially in that regard. And so I didn't experience any big roadblocks starting off. Yeah, that was really kind of key and instrumental in my beginnings. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan has been uh, super helpful for quite a few people. Um, He's running out of bandwidth because he's been so helpful. But (laughs) if he's helping you, (laughs) good for you. And and uh, that's that's really valuable. Um, I know he just, uh, he took my ex-wife, uh, Carrie, who wants, who, uh, has gone through the whole process now. Uh, he, he took her on a signing, um, uh, last weekend. So she got oh, to wow. see, she, yeah. So she got to see, uh, what, it, what exactly it is, uh, you know, to, to do a, to do a, uh, you know, a real estate signing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Nathan ha- has been, has been awesome. Um, okay. So, Tell, can you kind of tell us uh, once you once you got through this whole process, three months has gone by. Um, you, you've you know you've uh, been able to study with somebody or had somebody kind of you know show you what it's like. I mean, at one of our one of our masterminds, you, me, and Nathan, um, Nathan actually kind of went through a signing with us, you know, with the documents, so we could actually see you know what what it was exactly that he did. Which was, uh, I thought, really helpful. Even though, even though I'm not doing it, it was good to see, you know, all the different documents and and kind of. It's not quite as easy as people would make it out to be. You know, you really do need to know what those people are signing, and if they have a question, you got to be able to answer it with some confidence, or else they may question whether they should be signing or not, and that can be a whole, whole big problem, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Okay, but at some point you said, "I'm doing this. I, I've I've got everything done. I've trained. I'm going to start doing this." And you signed on with SnapDocs. And can you kind of walk us through some of the things you learned going through, say, those first ten um, signings that you did? Because I got to think there's a little bit of nerves as you're walking into, a, you know, a real estate office or somebody's home, and you're suddenly the expert, even though you haven't done this before. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Um, a lot of times these transactions are completely online and the first person that that borrower is meeting face to face is you. So you're kind of the face of the transaction sometimes. So like you said, if, if you aren't able to um, display those documents or go over them with confidence, then yeah, it can really kind of throw everything for a loop in the sense that it makes everybody look bad because to them, you're the face of it. 
so when I first got started, um, my my kind of methodology before I even went to my first signing is what really helped me out. I uh, there's a there's a system online, a training course called the Loan Signing System, and that goes over some mock signings that go has some audio recordings of signings. And so I listen to those audio recordings, we'll say 50 times over. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I didn't actually do a signing, but I heard one at least 50 times, which gave me that sort of pseudo confidence mm -hmm. going in there. Um, but, but yeah, it's definitely a little bit, no matter what, right? No matter how many audio recordings you listen to, it's a little bit nerve wracking walking into somebody's house and going over documents for the first time. Um, luckily, my first 10 or so went really smooth. <laughs> I, um, a lot of times in these transactions, the person who you're meeting with, they're a little bit nervous themselves. You know, they're refinancing on some huge dollar amount and it's their first refinance and so you're you're kind of both in the same boat which it's it's good to know just for the simple fact that that you know you're not going to walk in there and be scrutinized by this person they're a little bit nervous themselves mm -hmm. um, but but yeah i really did my due diligence before ever walking into my first signing by going over that online course and by listening to those audios so many times over that I already knew. I already knew what I was going to say for every document. Yeah. I already knew, you know, what the documents consisted of. Now, even doing that, there's there is, you know, always one or two documents that you might be seeing for the first time. Mm -hmm. But um I think just just having a sense of okay, take it slowly, read the dang thing and um you know, you don't need to rush through it. I think mm -hmm. that's really what helped me there. Yeah. I, I, I know if I were to go forward, I would I would find 10 people that I know and say, you know, can I have an hour of your time because I want to do a signing with you, you know, yes. and, and, and ask me all the questions you want to ask me so I can practice on answering these questions. Yes. Um, yeah. So preparation, 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 um, and, and, and just instill the confidence in yourself because you basically have done, you know, 50 signings already uh, before you walk in on your first one. That's re really good advice. Yes. Um, yeah. So, uh, before I go any further, let's just talk about the money that's involved here in order to get started, because, you know, these, the audience, the people who are listening to this mostly are, are drivers and mm -hmm. with Uber or Lyft, there's really no money that you need to pay. You, you, you just pretty much sign up and, and, and get your car inspected. Uh, maybe you go to fair and, you know, get a car. Uh, you might have some expense there, but basically it's not much to get started and it doesn't take long to get started and you can go out and make money and you can get your money that day with this. Um, so we've already ascertained it takes about three months from when you say I'm going to, to, to when you actually get started. Um, in terms of what it costs uh, to get going, uh, so you got to sign up for that first course. Uh, you got to... Um, you got to take the test. You got to get your, your your fingerprint scanned. You got to get a picture taken. You got to get uh, your stamps. You got to get your book. Um, how much? And and then you also got to take the signing course. And then if you also do the, the the Mark Wills course, how much would you estimate just all told it took to get you to where you know you're you're walking in to do your first signing? Yeah, cost wise with supplies and training programs and everything included, I would say probably just under one thousand dollars. Yeah. But but realistically, I think you could get everything for maybe six hundred. And the reason I there's a difference there is that the loan signing system that I mentioned earlier. Um, they have different tiers of that program. Mm -hmm. I, I purchased the most expensive one, but I don't know that you would need to yeah. in order to get those core fundamentals that you need. Because really, it's the fundamentals with this yeah. that you need to have down. And so I don't I don't think you need to purchase the AAA diamond package like right. I did. I, yeah, I, anywhere from 600 to 1,000. Yeah, which is not bad. 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah. No, not uh, at all. I'm sure if you go on YouTube, there's got to be people doing signings where, you know, we, you can see people do signings on, on the internet. I, I haven't looked. Have you? Uh, I have not. I, yeah. I would assume that there are, but I, I have not looked either. Damn near everything's on the internet, you know, so right. <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, okay, so that's great. So three months, so, uh, so uh, Dojo Nation out there. So if this sounds like something you want to do, plan on it's going to cost about $1,000, um, and you can keep driving while you're doing all of this, so you can keep your revenue coming in, and, um, and it takes about three months to get up and going, and that's to get started. Now, one of the things that was so appealing about Nathan was that he had a day where he made, you know, 900 to a thousand dollars in one day. And at the point that I talked to him first, he was making around ten thousand uh, dollars, nine to ten thousand dollars a month. I think he's had a big month now. His biggest month, I think, was just short short of twelve thousand dollars in a month. Um, so that's some pretty good, pretty good money for driving around and walking people through documents and, and stamping them. He works six days a week, and um, he doesn't work nearly the same kind of hours that he that he worked um, when he was driving. So all all of that is really really attractive. Um, the challenge is um, what what you're going through now is you know building your business and getting. Can you, can you draw the distinction between getting an assignment uh, through SnapDocs versus getting an assignment directly from a title company? Sure. Yeah. So SnapDocs is an online platform that um, anybody who needs a loan signing can request, can put in a request on SnapDocs. And then SnapDocs will send this request down to all the notaries that are signed up on their platform. So you're signed up to SnapDocs, and you get a text message on your phone that says, hey, can you go to this signing at, on this day, at this time, at this location? And it's just yes or no. Now, the other side of the signing agent business is if you go direct, you walk into these title companies and you say, hey, my name is so-and-so, I'm a signing agent in the area, I'd love to work with you guys more, yada, yada. And then in that situation, what happens is that title company would contact you directly and say, hey, we've got a signing this day, this time. Can you do it? Now, the difference there, realistically, the only difference is how much money you make. Um, if you go through SnapDocs, you're going to make uh, substantially less than if you're going direct, because then nobody else is taking a portion of that pie away from the transaction. Hmm. Whereas on SnapDocs, sometimes it goes through SnapDocs, plus it's going through a signing service. So each one of them needs to take a portion of the pie before it comes to you. So going direct is really where it's at. And I'm not there yet, but I'm only six weeks in. Yeah, I'm six weeks in. I have 80 signings on SnapDocs, and I haven't even attempted to go market myself directly yet. I will be sometime within the next month because my confidence and knowledge base, I believe, is there. But I haven't done that yet. Yeah. Okay. So, so think of it, um, Dojo Nation. Think of it like uh, Uber and Lyft, where you drive for Uber and Lyft, and the client's going to pay, you know, one hundred and fifty dollars. But out of the one hundred and fifty, Uber's going to take thirty percent. So you're only going to get, you know, what one hundred and ten or so. Um, so that's that's how it works with with Snap Docs. Um, so so what's like an average, how much would you say you're averaging on these snap doc signings that you're doing? How much are you actually, you know, taking in? Uh, I would say that I average $75 per signing. Okay. But hey, let me add a little bit to that. So when you first get started on snap docs, the way that, that the orders come down is they really just come down the line of notaries as far as how many orders have you done and what's your rating on there? Hmm. So all the orders that are coming down to me, because I'm at the bottom of the list, right? I, I kind of just started. Mm -hmm. The orders that are coming down to me are the ones that, that the other more experienced notaries didn't want. So right now I am accepting orders that are $50, $75 signings because I just need to get my numbers up. Mm -hmm. you know, that's still decent money, but the more I get my numbers up, the more offers I'll get for those $150 signings. 
And once you are an experienced notary signing agent, that's typically what you get paid for every signing is $150. Like this morning, for example, um, at 7 a.m., I had a signing and it just so happened to play out this way. $150 signing. It was a seven minute drive from my house. So from where I live to drive over there, do the signing and drive back to my house, it was exactly an hour. So that was $150 just for that one hour. Now that one just played out that way. But once you're experienced, you're making $150 per signing. I'm still in the category of, hey, I need to build up my numbers. I need to get as high on this list as possible, as short as possible, in as short of a time as possible. So I'm accepting anything that comes to me. And I'm averaging $75 per signing. Great. Yeah. So, and you're also gaining experience and confidence in what you're doing, right? That's exactly. that, that's the other reason. I mean, one is to get your numbers up, but the other one is to learn uh, so that when you do go direct to a title company, um, you know, they may ask you, you know, uh, questions and, and you, you need to know the answers. You know, they, they want to know that if they're going to go direct to you, that there's not going to be any problem and you, you are going to be a great representative and you're going to impress their clients and everything's going to be good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what's been the uh, two questions about how many uh, at this point, like on average, how many signings are you doing a day? And, and um, has that number been going up? Have you noticed it going up as you're getting your numbers up? Definitely. I'm, I'm doing, I would say, three signings per day now. Mm -hmm. And every week that goes by, I notice that I get more requests for signings and um, I get accepted for signings more often. And what I mean by that is you'll get a notification on your phone about a signing. If you you can click that you that you want it or not. And if you accept it, you don't always get it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But my acceptance rate is going up substantially. So, so yeah, right now I'm at about three a day and on average, and I'm getting a lot more notifications and my conversion rate is much better. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, when I asked Nathan this question, uh, what, what's the biggest challenge of the job? Um, he mm -hmm. said it was managing, managing his schedule. Um, so getting from one part of the Bay Area to another part of the Bay Area and, you know, getting as many signings in as he can in the day, but also making sure he can get there. Um, what's been your biggest challenge so far? Um, good question. I, I, I would say that, that Nathan's response is the most challenging aspect of the job because once you're really experienced and you have a full book of business, you're doing probably five of them per day um, on, on most of the days of the month. Mm -hmm. So that when you're maxed out at five per day, there's really kind of a lot that goes into it because not only do you have to drive to five different signings, you have to figure out how you're, how you're gonna print those documents or where you're gonna pick up those documents, or when you're gonna go to FedEx to send those documents back, or where you have to drop those documents back off at. In addition to that, you have to keep in communication with all of the signers to make sure that the appointments are confirmed, or if instead of the location, um, the original location they wanted to meet at a Starbucks down the street instead, you mm -hmm. just have to keep track of a lot of things. So really, I, I'd say once you have a full book of business, that would be the most difficult aspect of the job. Um, Otherwise, when you're first getting started, maybe the most difficult aspect is, is just understanding that you're new, that you have to give each assignment more attention and more time than you'll have to in the future. And so typically what I would do, and I'm not even doing this anymore, but for the first month, um, there was a couple of times where I got a little bit overwhelmed because I took on four signings, five signings a day, but I not only would print those documents, sign the documents and send them out, but I would want to go over them before I ever got to the signing. Mm -hmm. I'd want to go over them after I left the sign to make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. And so I took on a little bit too much, a little bit too soon, um, which I'm not complaining about, mm -hmm. but 
I, I, I took on a little bit too much business when I was first starting out because I needed to put more into it, to make sure I was doing everything correctly. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I think this has been a good uh, primer for anyone who uh, who wanted to contact Nathan to ask him questions about uh, about getting started. Um, let me just ask you a few last last questions. Um, sure. Where do you see yourself in one year? Oh, good question. In one year, I, I, I still see myself doing the notary sign agent business. I see myself with an absolute slam packed full book of business, five signings every single day, obviously $150 signings every single one. And me just really maximizing this opportunity and saving as much as possible. The rest of my life will probably be pretty boring going to be pretty boring because I'm going to be trying to max out this opportunity while I can, because right now is really a super good time for this. Um, rates are at a three-year low, so everybody's refinancing. So, mm. so many, so many signing services need so many notaries right now. That's why there's so much dang business. Yeah. If anything, I think there's probably a shortage of notary signing agents. Um, and and just because people don't know about this, I'm sure everybody out there listening, this is the first time they've ever heard that this is even a job yep. unless, unless they heard it on your earlier podcast episodes. So I really think that that's kind of, that's kind of where we're at with this opportunity and I'm going to max it out while I can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you got a lot of people excited because uh, they're doing the math in their head. They're going, holy shit. Five times one fifty. That's seven fifty. If I work five days a week, it's uh, seven fifty. That's uh, seven fifty. Fifty. No, that's three. That's thirty seven fifty every single week. That's just working five days a week. Wow. That's that's like we're we're, we're close to two hundred grand a year, and that's just driving around signing, uh, do, doing the signing gig. So, yep, yeah, it's it's legit. Uh, Dojo Nation. It is legit. Jeremy has uh, has a. Uh, uh, shared with you this the the secret sauce of what it takes uh, to go out and uh, and get yourself started on this. You got to have a little uh, foresight. You got to do a little planning, and you got to expect it's going to take a little time. But if you listen to what he just said, he's going to where he's going to be in one year. That's uh, that's pretty exciting. Last question: Tell me about your special forces fitness training program. <laughs> So this is an idea I just came up with uh, just a, just a couple days ago, and so it's it's in its infancy. I don't know for sure that it's something that uh, will come to fruition, but I was thinking about putting together an online training program, an online co- coaching program that would give people the mental and physical strategies and tools needed in order to become special forces in the military, to be a Green Beret or a Navy SEAL. Because I think a lot of people out there have aspirations of doing that. But realistically, there are certain tools and strategies you need to implement in order to have a really good shot at it. Um, For example, when I joined, when I joined the Army, in my basic training course, there was 250 guys. And out of those 250 guys, 60 of them had a contract to have the opportunity to become a Green Beret, the Mm. opportunity to become Special Forces. And out of those 60, only two of us made it. Mm -hmm. And and so it's something difficult to achieve, but with the right knowledge, with the right preparation, you can greatly increase your chances. So yeah, so that's something that I'm thinking about putting together. Well, you've been hanging out with me too long. <laughs> but uh, seriously, we should we should talk. I, I, I think I, I would love to have, maybe we do like a, uh, a trial run with you where we record some videos for my uh, Achilles uh, Fellowship Program. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, just some basic, basic fitness training, you know, and some mental disciplines sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just thought about That's that awesome. as we were... Uh, having our chat here, but yeah, I think that's uh pretty cool. And, and, and yeah, you could target for what you just said, you could target people that want to go into the special forces. But I also think there are a lot of guys, uh, my age, middle-aged guys who, you know, want to get back in shape and, and want to get that edge back 
And that's kind of what my program's about, but yours is more specifically about the fitness part of it. So that's why there might be a nice little synergy there for us. So yes, yeah, all right, great. Um, I've already asked you all the other ending questions, so I think we are good. Uh, Jeremy, you're a remarkable young man. I'm glad uh, you called me that, uh, got in touch with me, and we had that conversation, what, four or five months ago about you coming to San Francisco and getting started with uh, Uber and Lyft. It's been quite a ride, and uh, may the good times continue to roll. I'm looking forward to the time when we were both in Bangkok uh, together. <laughs> I know I know that day is coming. That day will definitely happen. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Exactly. You, you said it well. Make the, make the good times roll. I like that. Yeah. All right. Great, Jeremy. Thanks for entering the dojo. And um, yeah, it was just great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great one. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. That was an awesome, uh, awesome interview and a good opportunity for all of us out there in, in Dojo Nation to understand what it takes to become a mobile notary signing agent. It's a great plan B. And as you can hear, it's really working out well for Jeremy. Hey, if you're considering driving or you want to make more money as a driver in San Francisco, be sure to visit my website at Rideshare Dojo and click on the master course link. I have a course that's got 50 videos where I share all my techniques uh, to where I'm earning $2,000 a week driving 50 hours. If you're thinking about starting an online business, you can check out my website at nomadj.com. And I've got a free ebook called What's Next. Check it out. That's at nomadj.com. Hey, I also do a daily one-minute podcast, which a lot of people are really digging, called Nomad Daily with Jay Crater, which I share different aspects of my life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Crater is available wherever you get your podcasts. You can find it on your you know, iTunes or on your Apple uh, podcast app. Recently, I shared some of my experiences learning how to tell a story. I'm taking a story skills workshop. It's pretty interesting. All right, the next episode, uh, I actually am going to be talking with Danny Van Leeuwen, uh, who's uh, a healthcare expert, and uh, he talks about how you can become a CEO of your own health. It's really important for those of us who are driving in our car all day to uh, be healthy, and we're going to talk about that and uh, some of the pitfalls and some of the things, some of the proactive things you can do. So be sure and check that out. Uh, I'm going to do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater. Thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. I will see you next Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening and be safe out there.